AI voice agents are transforming the way businesses operate, especially in sales. Companies are scaling faster than ever because they are no longer limited by time zones or manpower. Imagine a voice agent that calls hundreds of leads while you sleep. Businesses using AI-powered outbound caller are seeing an increase in lead conversion rates and saving hundreds of hours per week. The demand for these AI voice solutions is skyrocketing and they are helping companies generate more revenue by automating the repetitive parts of sales outreach. This means more leads, more conversions, and more closed deals. And I'm going to show you how to build one of these voice agents step by step using tools like Google Sheets, Zapier, and I'm going to expose it in a while. Alright, step number one is to prepare your lead list. I have 25 leads for these examples. I have their phone number, their first name, last name, etc. Step two is to create AI calling assistant. For that, go to wapi.ai. Once you are logged in, you will see a screen like this. Click Create Assistant and give it some name. I'm going to call it Max and Create Assistant. Once you have created an assistant with an empty template, you will be greeted with this screen. This is your main configuration dashboard where you can fine tune your assistant. Let's start by adding a welcome message for users. Under first message, type what you would like your assistant to greet user with when they interact. For example, you could say something like, Hello, do you have a moment to talk? Next, we will move to the system prompt. This is where you can guide the assistant's overall behavior by default. It's a blank template, but you can customize this to ensure your assistant behaves exactly as you want. For example, you can type, you are a helpful and friendly assistant focused on providing useful information, blah, blah, blah. In this example, just to make things simplified, I am going to use this basic instruction that says you are Max and AI sales agent representing d.py.com. Your role is to call leads, explain the company specializes in AI related services, blah, blah, blah. So these are very simple instructions. You can have as many as you want. There are many templates out there that you can check. From model, I'm going to select this one. This seems good. Okay, next thing is we have to select sound for our assistant. If you go to voice library. Work while you have the light. You are responsible for the talent that has been entrusted to you. I'll just copy the ID. Go to my assistant. Go to voice. Select 11 labs. Click add voice ID manually. And paste the ID over here. It will automatically select the voice. So our basic AI caller is ready. Basically, there are a lots of things that you can do with it. You can add function calling, make the call forward to real human being. There are lots of settings basically, but this is not the topic of this video. We just want to set up a very basic AI caller and automate it so that it can make outbound calls. Right. Once you are done with these settings, click publish and it will save the assistant. Let's test the assistant. Hello, do you have a moment to talk? Sure, who's this? Hi, this is Max. I specialize in AI-related services, and I wanted to see if you'd be interested in learning more about what we can offer. Okay, our AI caller is ready and configured. Now let's move to step three. In this step, we'll set up Zapier. All right, I already have one Zap set up, but I'm going to create a new one so that you can understand how it works. Let's click Create. New Zap. We are not going to use the copilot. Let's scroll down and select our trigger. We will use Casual by Zapier. This will be triggered every hour. Click Continue, Continue, and click Test Trigger. All right, the first step is done. Now the next step is to select Google Sheet. So, whenever this zip is triggered, the following flow will be executed. Every time this is triggered, we want it to look at the Google Sheet that contains our lead. So, I'm going to choose Lookup Spreadsheet Rows. Click Continue. Select your drive. Then select a spreadsheet. My spreadsheet is called Leads. The worksheet name is Sheet 1. And Lookup Column is status because we are going to 
select leads based on the status. If the status is saying not contacted, then it means we have to actually call this lead. In lookup value, we will say not contacted and row count is 10, but I'm going to keep it 4, let's say, so that every hour this zip is triggered and it picks up four leads that are not contacted yet and actually sends them a call. Anyway, click continue. Let's test this step. Okay, so it was able to fetch four example rows. Now, once we have this, let's move to the next step, which is we are going to use a zip called run JavaScript. Okay, code by JavaScript. So, actually, let's say run Python. So, in the input data, we'll say names. And I will select column B, which represents the first names. And let's add another value set and call it fonts. Let's go to fonts. Yep. All right. In the code section, I'm going to paste a piece of code that I have written using ChatGPT. And yeah, as you can see in the code, I have an auth token and phone number ID. You can get this auth token from your WAPI account. Click here and click API key. This is what you will see. Just copy this, go to Zapier and paste it over here. And then we have this phone number ID. This is the ID of the phone number that you have purchased from WAPI. Go to your WAPI account like phone numbers and as you can see i have my phone number here and this is the id of my phone number i can just copy this and paste it here so this is my phone number id for sure when this tutorial ends i'm going to delete my auth token and my phone number id as well so you cannot use it and from this piece of code i'm going to remove this variable called input data because this is given by zapier by default so let's remove this and now we are good to go let's verify and also pay attention to this code over here that says assistant overrides and the first message is hello customer name so basically we are taking the customer name and calling it when we make call to them so this is called transient assistant we have all of our configuration set up in wapi.com but we are only changing the first message when we are actually making the call. So let's click continue. For testing purpose, I'm going to write break so it does not take too long. Let's click continue. All right, it is giving us an error saying assistant ID must be a UUID. Let's go to WAPI, go to assistant, and copy this ID. Go to Zapier, click configure. Scroll down and let's put our assistant ID over here. Let's click continue. Let's test it once again. Okay, so we got this message saying call created successfully. Waiting for one minute before the next call. Okay, so our system is ready. Let's remove this break statement for now. And let's continue. Alright, so now we have to add one last step uh, so that we can update the status of the leads that we have called already. So let's select Google Sheets, select Update Sheet Rows, click Continue, select the drive, select the lead, worksheet number one, let's select the row numbers. So these are the rows. Let's select this one. Let's update the value to contact it. Row number two, three, four, five will be updated. Let's click continue. And let's paste this step. All right, it was successful. Let's check our lead list. Let me reload. As you can see, after I reload, the status of these four leads has been changed because they have been contacted, right? So it was just for a 
showcase purpose they are not being contacted here until i run this zap uh, continuously so let's go back to the zap and click publish let's say outbound sales calls demo click publish all right our zap has been published and the automation is in the play so every hour this zap will be triggered and in one hour it will make calls to four different leads right so you can change this number of leads as you want you can call 10 leads 20 leads 50 leads whatever you want all right we need to do a small correction in the code scroll down to the bottom and remove the time dot sleep because this code block of zapier does not allow 60 second delay you know and also you have to output a variable eventually so this is what i'm adding over here and let's click continue final version 2 let's click publish let's wait and see what we get so basically i'm checking my lead list and eight leads have been contacted so far and if i go to my wapi car logs i can see these leads were being called uh, three of them actually answered the other five did not hello lou do you have a moment to talk hello hello lou my name is max and i'm calling from ddoppy.com we spoke all right so as you can see it is actually making calls for us and yeah the call was ended by customer there's a different thing but yeah the automation is in place and it is working so yeah this was just a very basic automation flow so you can be inspired from it and do customization go in depth and make cool sales processes i have another video on wapi.ai on how to use it how to use the function calling make sure to check it out and yeah if you're interested into ai related content at all make sure to hit the subscribe button